today we are going to pick fresh bell peppers and freeze them. This came about because my lovely dog ran into the containers that I was growing these in and knocked these four down and also damaged the container quite a bit. So I figured why not just get this done. So here are the pepper plants. So, and this is the container. She ran by and I guess caught it somehow and just ripped it. So, we have some nice peppers and I figured we might as well pick them before they get more damaged. She has already dug, ripped, ate, and knocked over these plants several times through the growing season. And it has survived pretty well. So let me just put this down. And there's a nice one. And they're a pretty good size. I'm going to leave the little ones and hopefully they'll make it. We have about a month till our frost date is supposed to be here. I was hoping that these could be left on till they were red. But after today, I thought it was better to pick them before they got damaged. So, that's not bad, including the four we have inside already. So now that we have our peppers, we need to wash them off. Those are the ones we just picked. And here are the four that were knocked over by my dog. This one got broken. All right. So the next step in getting these ready to freeze, we will be slicing them open. You can always save these seeds for later use.
Now you can dice these, you can slice them, you can do a combination. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to cube them up a little bit. This big chunks. So I have my water boiling already. You need to blanch these. So just a quick heat, one or two minutes, and then we need to cool them down real quick. We're not cooking them. Just So let's put two minutes on the timer. Okay, so these are pretty much done. It's been just about two minutes. We're going to take them over and put them in the cold water so we can cool them right down real quick. Okay, this might get a little steamy. cold water and ice. We don't want these to cook. You got to keep the cold water on until they're completely cold. Should be pretty much good. Let's pick out the ice cubes. You basically 
basically want to cool them down about as long as you cooked them. freezer bags and you just put them in. I usually just do enough for a serving. You can fill the whole bag if you like. Just make sure you get all that air. Then you need to write on it. And I always put the date. So we just continue on. These are great to add in stir fries or anything that you would use peppers for. Nice fresh from the garden, frozen for winter. Thanks for watching.